two, one. Hi everyone, my name is Artem Manelian. I'm a first year rheumatology fellow from Loma Linda, California. This is from RWCS 2023. So my uh, title is My Eye is Swollen, an Underrecognized Mimicker of the IgG4 Related Disease. This was a middle-aged woman who presented to our eMERGE department uh, with acute onset right-sided um, eye pain and swelling. She initially went to another hospital. She was given IV antibiotics for one day and she was discharged the following day. She presented to our hospital with worsening of her symptoms. She um, did not have any other complaints. Her review system was other overall negative except for nausea, fatigue, and eye pain. She did not have any history of fam any family history of autoimmune diseases. When she presented, she first had a CT scan done of the head, which showed periorbital swelling and edema on the right side. Her inflammatory markers were normal. Her vital signs were normal. She was seen by ophthalmology who initially recommended to continue antibiotics and also they wanted to try steroids. She received prednisone one milligram per kilogram for two days. Then she was switched to pulse dose steroids because she did not notice any improvement. With pulse dose steroids, she had significant improvement with her swelling. However, her chemosis was still present. Then we had an MRI venography of the brain, which was overall unremarkable. And then she had an MRI with contrast of the brain, which showed again periorbital swelling and edema. There was some concern about IgG4 related disease. That's why rheumatology was consulted. Once we were consulted, we wanted to proceed with MRI angiography. And we said, if that comes back unremarkable, we will, want, we will proceed with a biopsy. MRI angiography showed increased flow in the right superior ophthalmic vein. And radiology suggested that could be due to carotid cavernous fistula. For that, we consulted interventional radiology, and they proceeded with conventional angiogram, which showed ruptured aneurysm in the internal carotid artery, which led to um, carotid cavernous fistula. For that, the patient underwent embolization and had dramatic improvement of her symptoms. And you, here you can see improvement of your periorbital swelling and chemosis. So I, we think this is an underrecognized mimic of IgG4 related disease because patient with periorbital swelling can be seen in patients uh, with malignancies, infections, vasculitis, eosinophilic uh, granuloma, and uh, IgG4-related disease. I think it's very important for internal medicine doctors as well as rheumatology to be able to recognize the disease because the prognosis is favorable once the diagnosis and treatment is done. Thank you very much.